A shul is not an edifice. A shul is not just a building, it's not just a place. Of course, it's a living, breathing entity. And as such, a shul has a neshama, a soul. The character of its people provide it with a certain kind of a neshama. In Allen and Gila Goldberg, we have the beauty of the neshama of our shul. People of such quality, of such wonderful, wonderful goodness, of giving, a ready smile, participation in minyanim, in learning, leading events and leading young couple events so that our shul can grow. When Alan comes to a davening and sits and davens with such sincerity, it is infectious. It causes people around him to daven the way he is davening. When he has that big, broad smile, which comprises his entire face from top to bottom, from left to right, he lights up a room and he lights up the life of the person to whom he is speaking. Gila has a goodness and a chen that is the quality of the ultimate Bas Yisra. It's our honor to be bestowing the Young Leadership Award to these very, very, very special, special people. Alan and Gila, thank you for granting us the opportunity to show all of us young couples what it means to be a part of, a growing part of the Young Israel of Lawrence Cedarhurst. Mazel tov. Hey Gila, can you come here for a sec? I want to show you, I just got this weird text from Rabbi Trump and like he wants to meet with us, but I really don't know what it could be about. Oh, I guess he just wants to come over and talk to us. Like we couldn't be in trouble or anything, could we? We didn't do anything wrong. No, I think they probably just want us to get involved and do something for the shul. Hmm. I wonder, maybe they want me to be the assistant rabbi. I can see it now. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Hmm. They need help keeping the building up to its high standards. I can already see it. Daddy. It can't be. Daddy. No, 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 no. They cannot want him to entertain at the dinner. They don't know what they're in for. Ladies and gentlemen, this is one of my favorites. Just one Shabbos and we'll all be free. Just one Shabbos, come and join with me. Let's sing and dance to the sky with our spirits so high. Wait a second. I got it. They must want me to be the Baal Tefillah on the Yamim Naraim. Welcome, world famous cantor.
and it, it's not just run by Trump. It's run by Title Bow and Marvin also. I really don't know what we did wrong. Wait, what? Yeah, look, I'm what? not crazy. I mean, I have my contacts on one, two, three, and one is hold very on. tall. Hold on, move over. Oh my gosh, it is that. What are we gonna do? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, hi, Rabbi Trump. Hi, Rabbi Tano Bell. Hi, Marvin. Hi. Hey, Tal, say hello. Hi, hey, Tal. Hi, <laughs> Who are those guys? Guess who's come for dinner. So, uh, I'm a little nervous. What do I, uh, what do we owe this pleasure to you inviting you to our home? Welcome, welcome. Can I get you guys anything? Thank you, thank you. So, uh, yeah, we, we were a bit nervous, like, from the text messages, we just, like, we couldn't know what was up. <laughs> we didn't know what was up, uh, with why we wanted to see it. What did we do wrong? Did we do wrong? No. That's for good. That's You've always been, uh, a favorite of mine, personally. Thank you, Rabbi. And that has somehow infected everybody else around us in show, too. <laughs> and we thought that we might just find the right couple. That's, we, were, we were thinking who matches the, the criterion of committed, responsible, there for others, and friends. And I think that uh, all the boxes and more are checked on this very specific, this very specific course. So, uh, what does this all mean? I, uh, I, I don't understand exactly. Alan, Alan, this is about the dinner, the show's annual dinner. What do you mean when it's about the dinner? What do you want me to do? Like, do you want me to cater? Do you want me to, like, to, like, uh, do the air conditioning? Do you want me to do the, the running around and, like, telling everybody to find their seats or something? Alan, you look, it's a little bit of a higher position. Higher position? What do you mean by higher position? The show, uh, by Trump and I, all of us would be greatly honored if you would accept a young leadership award at this year's Yacht Day. Oh, so that's what you wanted all along. We were so nervous. I was like, I have no idea what we could have done wrong in <sighs> such a short time. I wish that, that more people could learn about the little commitedness and sincerity that you guys bring to the community. And it's been a role, you really have been role models for so many of us. And uh, as just I should hope for many, many more years to come. Of I'd course. Say. Oh my gosh. Um, I know I'm flattered. Yeah, that's uh, that's a huge honor. I can't believe it. Uh, that's a relief. Of course we're gonna be honorees for the show dinner. May talk, can you believe it? What do you think we should do? No or yes? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Smart one. <laughs> no, we'll do anything for the show. Yay! Oh, okay. yeah. All kidding aside, we really hope you enjoyed that little skit we had a blast making. Um, but on a more serious note, Alan and I feel so honored that Young Israel Lawrence Cedarhurst chose us to be the Young Leadership Awardees at this year's dinner. It was a bit shocking, wouldn't you say, Alan? To say the least, it was a bit shocking, I'll tell you. You know, our road to the shul from, you know, that first Shabbos when Rabbi Teitelbaum I remember was on the beam and saying like, oh, we welcome Gil and Al Goldberg. And I remember thinking to myself, does he do this for everybody? I mean, I know I had acquaintances with Rabbi Teitelbaum strictly because he had done business with my father for a long time and also worked with my aunt at Kulanu for a long time. But I, I never thought that he would welcome, welcome us like that with uh, such open arms. Spending such time in the shul, we really got to know him and back then it was when Rabbi Trump was the uh, assistant rabbi and I remember Gila always pushing me to you know uh, go out and he was doing the guys night out learning at uh, Sushi Tokyo and we would learn Rav Dessler and just uh, you know slowly but surely we were making more friends at the shul and you know not just with young married people but with people of all ages and demographics, what have you, and we really started to uh, build ro roots in the shul. And um, it's something that I always wanted. When we were thinking of joining Young Israel, I didn't want to just, um, you know, go to fly-by-night minions like every week, every shop is a different minion. I wanted to join the shul with uh, real vibrancy, and uh, Young Israel is definitely that place. And we really love it a lot. As Alan mentioned, we did 
make a lot of friends in the shul, both people we knew from before and so many newer people, our age, younger, older, everyone has just been so welcoming over these past four and a half years that, you know, not, we think of people as family, not just friends at this point. There are so many uh, chassanim that come out of the shul and services, the davening is great. If you're looking for a, a, a great shul with a vibrant community and awesome rabbis, Yilk is definitely the place to be and uh, wouldn't go anywhere else, uh, that's for sure. As Alan mentioned, the amount of chesed that the shul provides for its members, for the greater community, is incredible. Um, you know, we've benefited firsthand, but every time we see an email um, about the shul trying to help an organization, you know, the VOD, the Arab, just all, everything in this community as a whole with all the other shuls in the community, um, Young Israel of Lawrence Eater does such a good job at promoting it at getting its members involved and in trying to just get as much chesed um, done by everyone that they can, which is incredible um, to see as a member. It's incredible to be a part of a shul that is so engrossed in chesed firsthand. We're just uh, proud to represent the shul wherever we go and to be uh, positive voices for the shul, always. Um, we'd like to take this opportunity to thank First of all, everyone for joining us tonight. Thank you for taking the time out of your busy schedules, coming out on Emote Shabbos. Um, we'd like to thank both Rabbi Teitelbaum and Rabbi Trump for being role models for everything that you've done for the shul, for everything you've done for us. Personally, we'd like That's to thank sure. um, all our friends, family, neighbors, siblings for joining us tonight. And of course, um, extremely importantly, we'd like to thank both of our parents for guiding us through our lives, for, for getting us to this point, and for being extremely incredible role models for us and for Maytal and our family going forward. So thank you everyone once again for being here tonight. What she said. <gasps>